Hmm, that is such a large multiplication sum. But I don't have a calculator. What am I going to do? Alrighty, this week, in your weekly uh, multiplication tasks for maths, you have got some crackers, some awesome multiplication tasks. And one of the issues with these tasks is that you are not allowed to use a calculator. What are we going to do? Is it the end of the world? No, definitely not, because we have four multiplication strategies that we are going to look at. And hopefully, you can use these four multiplication strategies to help you solve these problems. Alrighty, so let's have a, a look at our first strategy. Now, I wrote these up uh, on the board prior to recording this video, so you did not have to go through the pain of watching me trying to write. So, first strategy, to multiply by powers of 10, multiply by the leading digit, then write at the end the number of zeros. So what that means here, instead of going eight times 70,000, we'll change that and we would write eight times seven. Eight times seven, and then we need to times that by 10. Oh, sorry, that's meant to be a zero. By by 10,000. So that looks a lot more um, attractive to us than eight times 70,000. So eight times seven, we can do that in our head, hopefully, so that will give us 56. If we need to, we can work that out on a bit of paper, that's no worries there. 56 times, 56 times 10,000. Now that's sum we can do times 10,000, we can do that in our head pretty easily. And if we are struggling, we can do it just by um, moving the decimal place over. So, we know that it's going to start with a 5 and 6, don't we? Because it's times by 10,000. So, 56 times 1, that gives us 56. 56 times 10, 560. 56 times 100. 56 times 1,000. And 56 times... 10,000. Alrighty, strategy number two. Four times 31 times 25 is our problem. To multiply, and our strategy is to multiply three or more numbers, we can change the order of the multiplication. Instead of going four times 35, then multiplying that by 25, what would be maybe a bit of an easy way for us to tackle this problem and rewrite this problem? So, Black pen, it's meant to be a blue pen. Apologies. We can go four times 25. That sounds a lot better, doesn't it? Times 31. Four times 25 gives us a perfect 100 times 31. 100 times 31, we know it's going to start with 31. 31 times 1 is 31 times 10, 310, times 100 is 3,100. Strategy number two. It's a lot easier way to tackle problems involving uh, um, three or more multiplication sums. Awesome, let's move on to strategy number three. So, can you see that okay? Maybe, hopefully. So on my computer it goes black something, so I can't see what you can see. Alrighty, strategy number three, double one number and halve the other. So we have 14 times three. Hmm, double one, half the other. Are we going to halve the three or double the three? What do you reckon? Exactly, spot on. I'm sure you're yelling at your computer screens there. We are going to double that three and that will become a Six, and then with the 14, are we going to, in turn then, are we going to double that or halve it? We're going to halve it. Seven times six, we can do that just in our heads and that will give us 42. So strategy number three, doubling one number and halving the other, obviously. You're looking for your odds and your even numbers there because you can't, or you could have that, but it'll give you a 
1.5. It's a lot easier to multiply with whole numbers. All righty, strategy number four. The problem that we're trying to tackle is 43 times 12. All something that's on paper is pretty complicated if we don't have a calculator. However, using our strategy, split one number, then add or subtract the remain, the resulting products. All righty, 43 times 12. We can rewrite that as... Utilising brackets here as well. 43, 43 times 10 plus 43 times 2. Alrighty. Those sums there are slightly easy to, uh, to deal with, aren't they? So 43 times 10 gives us 430 plus 43 times 2 is 86. So 430 plus 86, what we could actually do there to, eat, to simplify it even further would be go 430. There goes the bell, better stop. Where is it? It's lunchtime, it's lunchtime on Sunday for anyone that was wondering. It's currently 20 to 1 on Sunday, the 10th of May. Uh, 40, sorry, 430 plus 80 plus 6. And then we can go through and do our addition that way. So 430 plus 80 gives us 510 plus 6, 516. I've really simplified that to show all the working out there. So 516. So that is our fourth, um, our fourth strategy for multiplication. So if we go back to the wondering here, but I didn't have a calculator, does it matter? Definitely not. With a bit of time, yes, it does take more time. However, we can tackle these problems without a calculator. Good luck. I'm very keen to see how you go with it. And please, if you have any issues, just let me know, um, a phone call, an email, or um, whatever away. Awesome. Take care, guys. Have a good one.